Hi, welcome to the Andrew Buckle video tutorial on the Impressionist tool. A wonderful feature of Photoshop that you probably may not even realize exists. There is an Impressionist tool. You can create Impressionist images from simple basic change in this thing. And that's the key one there, Impressionist. What you need is the pattern stamp. Pattern stamp is super useful. Pattern stamp there. Now you can use the pattern stamp. I've done tutorials about pattern stamp and also occasionally touched on this Impressionist feature but just gonna go through to show that you can create some really amazing designs with this. So there, pattern stamp tool, and maybe depending on your customization. Now this has been in Photoshop for ages and ages. So any version, I'm using 221, but any version should have it. And what it uses, brushes. And you can use, of course, any number of brushes, literally all kinds of different designs, basic designs, really obscure designs, very unusual spiral designs, all kinds of things to create these sort of images. So the key thing is set the Impressionist on. Now I'm gonna be using very basic brush first and then I'm gonna go from there. So let's just go there and select that brush. So just reduce the size down and key panel for this brush settings. So you can find that in window and brush settings. Let's just undo this. Key thing to do is define this as a pattern. Find the whole thing as a pattern. Doesn't have to be a pattern, doesn't matter. It could be any image, it could be text, it could be anything. Just go to edit and define pattern. Now it's defined as a pattern, you can simply select it over here. Select that as a pattern there, and then what you can do, you can apply it. Simply, and this is just using the basic brush, you can apply it over like that. It's very quick and easy doing that. You can also, of course, change various shape dynamics. You can change the size, you can change the hardness, can change the spacing, change the shape dynamics, you can change the size jitter, angle jitter, and so on and so on. So you can just apply it and it will just change the brush slightly, not much. But of course, what you can do, you can always define new brushes very quick and easy. So something like this. Very simple, couple of basically go to your paint over here, just apply just standard dots, or any sort of design. So you can define that, edit. And define as brush preset. The only thing is, quite often when you go back, and I just go back there, and you always have to remember which one you're using. So I go backwards and forwards between until I end up starting to use the wrong tool. There's the pattern that's been selected there, that's been used, and there's the image. And what I want is the brush tip. So go over here to the brush tips and then search for it. I think there it is. So you've got there. And you can see simply straight away you can apply and you can create a different image. What you can do, of course, another thing you can do is you can reduce the size. Maybe it's a bit too great. You can change, you can squeeze it so you can make it very thin. Uh, let's make it a bit bigger so you can see it. Spacing again, reduce the spacing. Then also scattering, if you want scattering, you can have it spread both axes so it can spread out different ways and then apply it. You can see over there, and apply it like that. Now, sometimes if it's too small, obviously it takes a bit of time. So let's produce, push it up a bit. You can see just there, it's got a nice sort of design like that. Sort of lines, thin lines going different angles all the way across there. But of course, what you can do, you can always change it. Blending modes, don't have to use lighting, you can use darken. You can use lighten. Or maybe difference. Difference is not so good, but difference actually is quite effective. If you let's push, put this up a bit, brush tip, so you can actually see it. Let's just push that up, and you can see what happens. You end up, oh, that doesn't look very good. Actually, it looks terrible, you think. Well, actually, apply it again. Just apply it once, apply it again, and then you get the obviously the original coming back in again. But with the added sort of colors that have been from the difference sort of blending into the mix. So you can create some very interesting designs simply by applying difference and then blind difference again. And of course, what you can do, you can always go to auto tone and you can see you get the design like that. And I think it's quite an effective way of doing that. Just remove that. But of course, you can claim, go over here and need different brushes. Let's just get rid of those brushes. And now you can, of course, use all kinds of different brushes to create brushes. I'm just gonna, but I'm gonna go with paintbrush as a basic default. Uh, let's just select that brush there. Reduce the size down and just 
go there and I'm just going to create a very, very basic spiral design. And of course, you can create all kinds of different designs. Very abstract design, whatever. And of course, you can select it. Just go there and rectangle the marquee tool and you can select it and then you go to edit and define brush preset. What you can do then is just go over there and you've got that design again. Now, cool. Next area is <laughs> something I have to search for the thing. What I want to do is go down there, select that. And now you can see that obviously your design there. And of course, you can change it. You can change the size, shape dynamics. You might not want maybe an angle jitter again, scattering, maybe not so much, or maybe more. Oh, it's just indifferent, so go back to the original one. And it's still using the old, this image. That's the key thing. So you've got Impressionist on, aligned, that's key as well. Very handy. Otherwise, it just wherever you start, you'll suddenly find you're in the wrong position. I always prefer, I must admit, I keep aligned on virtually all the time. But you can, if you turn it off, let's just turn it off. Just makes a difference. So it just doesn't work as well. You just suddenly find that you've got colours in different places, which is fine, but if that's what you want. But personally, I just keep for this purposes, I always keep aligned on. And you can see again, you can quickly apply it over the brush like that. But what you can also do, of course, is you can go here and you can go to layer and layer and new, just create on a layer. And just gonna apply the same thing, but I'm not gonna to apply too many, just gonna apply a couple, just like that. So you can see it's just basically, but what you can then do, of course, you can move it around. You can also apply effects. Maybe go to filter and distort and maybe twirl. You can see just twirl it like that. So you can create a different design based on the image. Also you can go to layer, so you can go to layer, layer style, maybe bevel and emboss. You can quickly add bevel and boss like that. Maybe uh, let's go for, well, there's quite a few things there now. I keep, keep adding more and more without actually deleting them. Then click OK. And you've got that design. Oops. That selected, go to layers, select there, and you can move that around, hold down the alter option key and duplicate that design or duplicate the other design. Actually, sometimes it's better to remove back, otherwise, you have a tendency to suddenly select the wrong one. And you can see you can quickly apply it like that, and you can create all kinds of designs from that. So I'm just going to undo those now. Yeah, just get back to that. Well, let's just go over to this one. Now, this is another image I've done earlier, and I'm just going to remove all these because I don't want that now. You can see the similar approach I've done with a layer. So you've got this design. What you can do, this was uh, created using the symmetry tool, symmetry features in the patterns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, of course, save this as a pattern now. So edit and define pattern. So define that as a pattern, click OK. With that defined as a pattern, what you can do, again, go down to the pattern stamp tool there, and I'm just going to remove that layer. Don't want that layer. Don't need the layer. So yes. So you've got that design there. Now what you can do, you can apply this again. Make certain you select the right one. And I always do that. I may end up painting with the old one. So I can select that. And now I can paint still. And you can apply very rapidly over this whole design. And it looks much the same as the colors before. Maybe reduce the size down. It uses the image below, so you, you can see approximately the same design. And of course, what you can always do if you want, you can always go to edit and you can fade and pattern stamp and you can go darken and it gives a nice like, texture to it as well. Multiply, linear burn, lighten, and so on and so on. So you can create a whole load of different designs. And of course, once you've done that, what you can do, you can go to filter, maybe stylize and oil paint. And you can see, you can blend in. You've got these lovely, you can see the brush strokes there and the same sort of image going all the way through. So you can create some lovely work that way. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna quickly go and select a different one. But what I've got this one, this one is exactly the same image, but I'm just gonna, Oh, let's do it. Let's go. Instead of just showing one you can't see, let's just simply go to Filt Oil Paint, Distort, and Twirl. Now you can twirl this time and maybe go like that. You create a very intense, colourful design very quickly, like that. What you can do again, edit and define pattern. 
click OK. Now that's defined as pattern, make sure you go and select it. There it is, pattern stamp is on, and you can simply use the last brush if you want, or maybe go and select a different one. So again, you can apply that on top of that, or of course you can undo. You've still got, of course, the old one that's in there, brush settings. And now what you can do, you can go over here, change that, reduce that down, maybe go to a different brush tip. You don't have to use this one, maybe use some of the dots. So you've got some lovely dots one there, quite that would probably come with Photoshop. So you can simply apply nice dot design, and you can see it follows the general gist of the, the image below. But you've got lovely scattering design there. Very quick and easy to create a nice sort of spotted design from your image like that. Or maybe not that one. You can always go and select one of the other ones. This one I created a bit earlier, which is sort of nice sort of crescent design. And again, it creates nice sort of layer. And again, of course, if you want, you can always go filter and stylize oil paint. You add another oil paint effect. And you can see blend that in, filter oil paint. Maybe go to adjustments and vibrance. And you've got a nice tangled sort of design very quickly, just using a very, very basic brush. Not something like that, but a very basic one, simply like this. And I'm just going to quickly show you. Might as well show you instead of just saying it. Just select that one. Simply like that. Just Nice curve. You can create obviously all kinds of designs, maybe like that. Select that, go to edit and define brush preset. And you could use text maybe as well. So I'm just gonna go back to this image and then go to the pattern stamp tool. And again, there it is down there and you can reduce the size, change the spacing, scattering maybe. You can scatter across the whole image, maybe color dynamics if you want, but let's just, so you can see, oh, using the wrong one, the image one there. Now what you can also do, of course, is you can, let's, so you've got that, so you can just see it scattered like that. But what you can do, maybe go to image, adjustments, and maybe go to black and white. Ah, I want a layer, so I can't do that. So let's just go to image, image, adjustments, and then black and white. So that's gone into black and white now. Change those, click OK. And of course, what you've still got, you've still got the original image in the pattern. You've got the impressionist on, you've got your brush here all defined, and simply you can always quickly add it back in again. So simply just scatter it over like that. And of course, what you can do, you can always go to edit, and again, fade pattern stamp, darken, multiply, lighten, overlay, and so on and so on. Unfortunately, you can't run through them very quickly. You have to, some, some lending modes you can do like that. So you can create some very interesting designs using this approach. And of course, it's literally infinite. Infinite amount of designs can be added to your brushes and can be used to create these sort of impressionist designs very quickly, simply by going to Impressionist. And literally, there's a lot more than this. I've, when I've been running through, you can do dot ones and designs and loads of things. And of course, what you can also do, another thing you can do, you can always apply other brush strokes and distort this design, or maybe go, go to here, layer, and then just duplicate the layer. So layer and duplicate, and then you can always edit it. So edit and go down to transform and maybe warp. And you can warp the design, so click there, crosswise, click there, and you can distort your design there. And of course you can define that as a pattern, and so on and so on. Many, many more. Click OK. Well, I think that's a reasonable run through of the brushing tool. One of those tools that you could literally spend hours exploring all the possible things with this impressionist thing. So, hope you found this tutorial of interest. Always adding new tutorials all the time about Photoshop, Illustrator, and many other applications. Also, if you've got any comments, please put some comments below. Always appreciated. Maybe things that I did, did wrong. <laughs> Quite a few things, I'm certain. 
just please let me know. And also other maybe suggestions about how I can use the tool even more. Always great to hear. Also a dislike or like. And also please subscribe to the channel. Always add them daily. So uh, thank you much.